Welcome to live2clays.com, best e-learning portal for IIT JE, NEET and Foundation. Hello students, in this video I will discuss how to calculate temperature by using Arrhenius equation when there is a change in temperature along with rate constant. The problem says that the decomposition of reactant A into product has a value of rate constant K as 4.5 multiplied by 10 to power 3 per second at temperatures. 10 degrees C. At this temperature, rate constant K value is given that is 4.5 multiplied by 10 to power 3. And energy of activation is given 60 kJ per mole. It is Ea value is given. And the question says that at what temperature? It means that there is a change in temperatures would be rate constant 1.5 multiplied by 10 to power 4 per second. You can see that at this temperature rate constant value is given. Then we label it as a initial temperatures T1. And at this initial temperature rate constant, we label it as a K1. And the uh, energy of activation is given. And uh, at this temperature, at what temperature? This is going to be new temperature, that is final temperature T2. And at this temperature, the rate constant value is K2. Here you can see that T1, K1, K2 values are given. Energy of activation is given. And we have to calculate new temperature, that is T2. We can apply Arrhenius equation and calculate the temperatures T2. The Arrhenius equation is log and K2 upon K1 and here we have Ea that is energy of activation and uh, 2.303 R is a gas constant bracket 1 upon T1 minus 1 upon T2. We can plug in the values and we can calculate T2 value. R is a gas constant its value is 0 0.134 and its unit is joules per mole k and since its unit is joules per mole k that's why we convert ea value from kj per mole into joules per mole so that joules per mole will cancel out here we have ea value that is 60 uh, kj per mole 1 kilojoule is equal to 1000 joules and so per kj 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 will cancel out we can multiply these values and the value which we get that is 60000 and it is in joules per mole and so R value also has temperature unit that is in Kelvin that's why initial temperature is given in degree Celsius we convert a degree Celsius into Kelvin we simply add 273 10 plus 273 and the value which we get that is 283 it is in Kelvin now we can plug in the values and calculate T2 here we have log K2 value is 1.5 multiplied by 10 to power 4 1.5 multiplied by 10 to power 4 and k1 value is here 4.5 4.5 multiplied by 10 to power 3 is equal to ea value we have got that is 60000 and it is 60000 and its unit is joules per mole and so upon 2.303 r value is 8.314 it is decimal 314 and its unit is joules per mole k joules per mole joules per mole will cancel out one upon t1 t1 value is given that is 283 it is in kelvin 283 and minus one upon t2 if you look at this expression you can see that t2 is the only component which is to be calculated all rest uh, components are known and so their values are plugged in we can simplify this expression and find out t2 values we can here we here you can see that 1.5 uh, 3 ja, uh, 4.5 and so in division exponents are subtracted 4 minus 3 is equal to 1 as a result here we get 10 and so you can divide 10 by 3 the value which we will get 3.33 uh, is equal to here we have 60,000 60,000 and you can multiply the bottom numbers here we have 2.303 uh, we can use calculators 2.303 and it is multiplied by in the R value that is gas constant 8.314 and the value which we get that is 19.147 19.147 and it is in K and here we have 283 minus 1 upon T2 we can plug in uh, log 3.3 values here here we have 3.33 and its log value is here we get 0 0.522 here we have 0 0.522 we can do the cross multiplication to simplify it further so this value will go at the top this 19 will go at the top 19.142 k 
k multiplied by 0 0.522 and so 60,000 will go at the bottom here we have 60,000 and right side we have 1 upon 283 minus 1 upon t2 now on left side we can multiply the top values and so divide by 60,000 here we have at the top that is 19.142142 and multiplied by 0 0.522 the value which we get that is 9.992124 and it is divided by 60,000 60,000 and the value which we get that is we can write this value in scientific notation and so we uh, get value we can round out these figures here we get 1.671 multiplied by 10 to power minus 4 here we have 1.67 multiplied by 10 to power minus 4 is equal to we can divide this value also on right side here we get 1 is divided by 283 and the value which we get this is the value we can write this value in scientific notation the value which we get that is 3.533 we can write it 3.533 multiplied by 10 to power minus 3 3.5 3 and so multiplied by 10 to power minus 3 and so minus 1 upon t2 we can transfer this value on left side or we can uh, subtract 3.53 multiplied by 10 to power minus 3 on both side the value which we will get here we get we can write this uh, value in uh, in the same exponents formats therefore we get 0 0.167 multiplied by 10 to power minus 3 and this value is transferred on left side as a result here we get 3.53 multiplied by 10 to power minus 3 and on right side here we have minus 1 upon t2 now we can subtract these values because exponents are same so we can subtract it here we have the value is 33.53 and it is we subtract from this value 0 0.167 and the value which we get that is 3.363 minus because this value is smaller 3.63 it is 363 Six, uh, 363 and multiplied by 10 to power minus 3 on right side we have 1 upon minus 1 upon t2 negative negative will cancel out now we can do the cross multiplication here to find out t2 value remember that unit of this value is k here you can see that this value is given uh, yeah, here unit is given k it is k and so this value is also in k now the t2 value which we are going to get it will be in kelvin here we have t2 and so is equal to 1 upon 3.363 and so it is multiplied by 10 to power minus 3 now we can divide the values here we have 1 and so it is divided by 3.363 and so multiplied by at 10 to power minus 3 here we have 10 to power minus 3 now we can divide the values the value which we get that is 297 here we have 297 and k it is the final temperature you can see that in the problem initial temperature is given in degree celsius that's why we convert this kelvin value of the final temperature into degree celsius that's why we subtract here 273 and so the value which we get that is 9 minus 3 is equal to 4 and 9 minus 7 is equal to 2 and it is in degrees celsius here you can see that at this temperature the rate constant value will be 1.5 multiplied by 10 to power 4 per second here you can see that how i calculated the final temperatures by using arrhenius equation we can use arrhenius equation which relates temperature and rate constants when energy of activation value is given thank you if you like this video please click the like button if you have any questions or suggestions please comment below for more updates on iit je or need exams please subscribe to our channel to get lot of updates support us by following us on facebook and twitter to sharpen your skills please try out our test series on livetotalage.com Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.